below! Rather silent, Davor. Anything to say for the mess you led us to? We suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is there to say? Oh, something like, I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, bone-headed, and I smell like blood and shit? I like my version better. Eivor, look! Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Cut this men. Gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. Have a look, Sunan. Need to row our way out. More sail! Shiltva will come for us now. Harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it! Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. 
You are not in this fight alone. King Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I am right until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. And what will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. We attacked Kjotve's fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there's a skull who dares sing that verse, it'll be his last song. returns and not half dead we thought we had lost you Eivor for good this time a warm welcome as always Ranvi you look like red and shit what happened nothing to crow about except to say the men who delayed us are dead and how are you well enough though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king he is not happy with you I expected as much and what of Sigurd as he returned from his raids. My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kjotve's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. Oh. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters. It stirred something in me. A feeling I have not had since. Since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Volka. She could help me make sense of my... My feelings. Take your time getting settled. 
I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Eivor! Looking rough you are. Welcome home. Did you bring us any treasure? I returned with a boat and a full crew. That is worth more than silver. That doesn't count. You need silver. And jewels. <laughs> Shut up, bro. How do you know? You never went... Gods. Hey, Tekla. What is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? Most of these backgrounds would have pissed themselves all past by now. Is there no one who will go around with me? This land will never prosper while clan battles clan. Well, look who it is. 